about sunlight. All right, so here's the weirdest thing. Uh, this is in front of my condo. This, you see this huge tree? The sun is peeking in behind it. There you go. As you can see, peeking through. Um, but because that tree's in the way, there's certain times of the year that my plants will get less light because it takes the sun about 45 minutes to be from where it is now to above that huge tree that hangs over the parking lot here. What's gonna happen is that sun is gonna shift. It's gonna it's continue to shift to the left. So, and I mean, in a couple weeks, it won't be behind that tree. It'll be over here. And then what'll happen is my plants will be getting approximately six, about six hours of sunlight, uh, give or take. Sometimes I've seen it where it's, you know, I've tracked it at six hours and 20 minutes. Um, yeah, just matter on how the tops of these trees do and where it comes through. Um, and then what'll happen is around uh, end of June, early July, the sun will start shifting back this way. And then mid-July and August, the sun will be stuck behind that tree. And my plants will only get about four and a half hours of sunlight. So as you can see right now, they are getting the, the trickle. So you see some of the plants are getting, like this one's getting a good amount of light right now on it. Uh, of course, these are not getting really much, but... You see that trickle coming through and uh, so they will get little trickles through the, the tree for a while but when the tree gets its full leaves and the, and the sun comes back over that way it will pretty much completely block out the sun and they will lose um, a, between 45 minutes to an hour of sunlight and uh, and that happens during prime uh, that happens during prime uh, blooming season so that's when they're all going to have their flowers and they're going to be ready to give fruit. Now, a lot of people say that that's not enough sunlight, that to give them getting four and a half hours during that phase is, is not enough sunlight. But I grew plants out here last year. Um, of course, they were not raised from seed. They were not double topped. Uh, they were plants from a nursery um, and, uh, and they did OK. So uh, I do know that, you know, it's, it's better to have eight hours nine hours um, of sunlight for these super hots but i also know people that grow super hots on a balcony in an apartment where they're only getting four hours five hours some of them at the max five and a half hours of sunlight and their and their plants grow massive and they get um, enormous pods and a, a good abundance of them so how much sunlight do super hots need is the question and the answer to that is not so simple. Um, I have plants in raised beds that are getting 13 to 14 hours of sunlight. These here are plants that I have out back that were not doing well, where it only gets two hours sunlight. Um, they will survive in that, but they will not fruit. I left a Carolina, Carolina Reaper plant out back last year. It grew four and a half, five foot tall, and it never even got flowers. I threw it out front, and it got flowers within no time at all getting I think at that point in the summer it was about four and a half hours of sunlight um, so I know that you need at least four to four and a half hours sunlight to get flowers I, I know that from experiments that I've done before um, <clears throat> these plants here they, they're what's happening with them is they were out back getting the two hours um, recovering I didn't want to put a lot of stress on them and, and they, they, they absolutely love it. They love that two hours sunlight. They actually start reaching this carbon boot bubblegum seven has just, it's grown so much. So has this white night. I mean, they were really small and feeble. Um, this one too, this is a, a golden, let's see. No, that's a red panic. That's a golden prematale, but they've all done well. Um, and you know putting them in that that small amounts of sunlight and now what i'm doing is i'm putting them out here and i'm gonna let them get like an hour hour and a half maybe two hours no big deal whatever and then i'll put them back out back and they will get their natural two hours later in the afternoon when the sun goes be, uh, behind the house and so 
Um, then what I'll do is someday in the next week, I will put them out front where they'll be getting the six hours of sunlight. I'm trying to get them used to it because I don't want to have, um, you know, I don't want to have a lot of leaf burn at this point. I'd like these plants to just just do good and they're these are all double tops so I'm, I'm not worried about them i think they'll do fine anyway but i'm still just being safe because the, the plants i put in the raised garden bed um i just went and checked on them and they had a lot of uh leaf burn uh they were hardened off you know six hours and i put them in, in the beds and they, they're getting 13 hours now so they they definitely were not hard enough and they weren't hardened off enough um to put them in there without having leaf drop so but that's fine um i some of them are doing better than others they got a couple of leaves that are burning leaves that were not exposed to sunlight because they were on a tray covered by other leaves so whatever the case may be um two things when we're talking about sunlight one is if you're having plants that you are trying to harden off that that you um have never topped so they don't have second growth it's the original leaves i would say if, if you really don't want them to have leaf drop you're gonna to have to harden them longer than I did. I did seven days. I did um, the maximum time uh, that they're out in the sun was six hours. I would say you would have to increase that. You would have to go on the eighth day for you know eight hours maybe, and, and ninth day for ten hours if you can do that. If you're able to do that. Um, so me, I jumped the gun and actually put them in the in the in the garden bed a, a little earlier than I should have. But it's not a big deal because of the fact that they are um they're gonna just they're, they're gonna rebound like crazy and that second growth when them any of them leaves fall off they'll get a new leaf there and that new leaf will be will be excellent it will grow in the sunlight 13 hours a day so how much sunlight does it take you're going to hear a million different answers okay me personally me personally i believe that these plants do well in eight hours of sunlight nine hours of sunlight i know a lot of growers that they grow in the yard they have tree lines on both sides and that's how much that they get they get eight to nine hours do they do well in 12 13 hours yes of course they do one of my growing partners gets that much sun in his pepper field another growing partner gets eight to nine hours grows in poly tunnels they do well as long as they're getting the thing is when you're doing 13 14 hours you have to keep an eye on on watering them um they do get stressed big time you will see the leaves just they it's it's it, especially when it gets 90 95 degrees you know and you have that kind of temperatures for three weeks straight um they do get stressed but thank you guys for watching